Hola everyone, it's me, Heather Jo Flores, and this week in our free permaculture class, we are talking about tidying up, basically. We are going to cone Mari our permaculture site this week, and here's why. Here's why this is important, and here's why this is part of permaculture, and I'm going to explain this in much more detail in today's class, but I just wanted to check in about this because this can be sort of a trigger point for people. You know, we love our junk, we love our stuff, and we get attached to it, and we get attached to these ideas that we have and to these projects that we want to do with these cool free resources that we got a hold of, and so I just wanted to throw it out there that for me... Um, you know, we're interacting online with this course, but if you know me locally, if you're somebody that I've interacted with directly, you know that I am notorious locally for having a, a meticulously organized home and garden. I keep it really, really clean. And for me, it's almost a Zen practice. And, and I'm not spending all of my time cleaning and I'm not, you know, OCD about it. Although if you are, that's fine. But I, um, I just really enjoy a meticulously organized and clean space. And, and for me, it's, it's a mental health thing and it's an aesthetic appreciation. I love bringing people into a space where they can really see the design. Uh, you know, they can sort of see the forest for the trees instead of being overwhelmed by all of the piles of junk and different projects. And and so there's that. But for me also, there's this idea that that it keeps me present. Keeping the space organized helps to keep me present. Because when you have all of these piles of unused resources, a lot of times those piles, just like that dress that's hanging in the closet that doesn't fit, that never is going to fit again realistically, and even if it did, are you really going to wear it? You know, so uh, or for this, you know, the parachute. One time I lived in a in a warehouse and we had this giant parachute that we were going to fix and, and then it was like well nobody's going to jump out of plane with that parachute like sometimes you have to accept that you are not the person that that project that you have to be in order to do that project you know you're not going to rebuild that piano key by key you know so you need to either find a use for the messed up broken piano or you need to let it go and and put it into a new form either as ash if you burn it in the burn pile or give it to a thrift shop or give it to somebody else who is going to restore it key by key. So you sort of get what I'm saying here that uh, I'm challenging you this week to go through your entire site and purge and get rid of all of the stuff that you're really not using and to be really ruthlessly honest with yourself about whether or not you really are going to use that stuff because only when you clear out the fantasies can you really get in and create a realistic tangible actionable permaculture design and the whole rest of our course is going to be about this so uh, we'll see you soon and I look forward to the discussion in our group about this class and take care good luck